Hey everybody, so I've spent about the last two or three days trying to figure out how I wanted to go about telling my story um, without it taking 20 or 30 minutes long. Um, just like all of you, I've definitely had my trauma and tribulations and drama and whatnot that um, led me to finding Beachbody and really committing to Beachbody. So I think I finally figured out how I want to tell my story and here it is. So in December 2008, I was put on Lexapro to, to some really bad anxiety that I'd been living with from a bad experience with smoking marijuana and um, a deadly rollover car accident that I was the passenger of. Once I was put on Lexapro, I really start, started to study nutrition and I started going to the uh, gym at my apartment and I started realizing like, you know, this is really helping with my anxiety. And I, I mean, obviously I was on Lexapro so I couldn't tell totally like what was, you know, figuring into what, but I could just tell that both were making a difference. Um, and then about a year into feeling really good about my life, uh, things took another pretty nasty turn for the worse, and I felt like the only way I could cope was through uh, drinking alcohol and emotional eating, and I really started gaining some weight back. So then in December of 2011, I graduated from the University of Colorado Denver, and I got to a point that I really felt like I needed to start over. I just graduated and I, I really wanted to lose the weight. So I noticed that my friend, Casey Ottman, had started losing a lot of weight. And um, I'd known Casey for a few years then, and I asked him what he had been doing. And he told me insanity and he talked to me a little bit more about it and I bought the program. And then in March of 2012, I joined up with the Insanity Challenge group, and which is where I met Josh. And Josh and I really began talking and I stayed motivated for about a month until I became frustrated that my knees just couldn't keep up with the moves. And Insanity is one of those ones, unlike T25, that um, there isn't a modifier and I didn't know how to do modifier moves. Like now I can really come up with my own modifier moves if there isn't a modifier. And it still works out great, 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 great. Um, but I eventually, at the time, just got really frustrated and quit. But one thing that I did keep up with was the nutrition plan that I got from Insanity. So I still give, to this day, even though I didn't totally finish the program, which I want to do it over again now that I've lost the weight and I know a little bit more about what I'm doing, um, I still kept up with the nutrition plan. Because that was one thing that I did know and I did notice was really helping me. And so then in September 2012, Kobe began to ask me if I wanted to become a coach or if I wanted to do a challenge group. And I actually found the um, exact conversation that him and I had, just a little tidbit of it I'm going to show you, of when he asked me to join a challenge group. So here it is. So then um, it got to a point where marijuana became legal in Colorado and my anxiety just went out of control. I mean, it still sort of is sometimes. A lot of people, you know, don't really know about the changes that uh, Colorado's gone through since it became legal. I think that some people think that everyone's smoking and then I th think some people think that it's just nothing's really changed. And the reality is, is that not everybody is smoking. Not everyone is high. Um, we still do love our hiking and fishing and skiing and stuff like that. But um, it's definitely more apparent. So for someone like me that gets anxiety even smelling it, it, it just became out of control. And 
all I felt like I could do to really control that was to eat and eat and sleep and I did trust me I did and I became 165 pounds the heaviest I had ever been and in January 2013 um, as my New Year's resolution, I was like, I'm gonna lose this weight. I have to lose this weight. This is not okay. My brother's talking to me about this. My brother's fiance, Julie's talking to me about this. This is not okay. My dad's bringing it up to me. Um, it's just not, I was just not okay with it. And so Joshua told me that he was gonna start up a Slim and Six challenge group. And I remembered buying Slim and Six years ago. And so um, I decided to give it a shot and then and later found out like during it that everyone was doing a new version and I was doing the old version, but I was just like, screw it. Um, I'm already this far in, let's just do it. I'm seeing results. Uh, I lost 10 pounds in the first two weeks and uh, Joshua went from motivating me and being sort of like my coach to us really having these deep conversations and that's when the whole Liz and Josh you know bluff story sort of really 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 took off and in February um, uh, this past February Joshua ended up coming out to visit me for my birthday my birthday is February 27th and he ended up staying with me for a little over a week we took a road trip to Utah and it was pretty fun. I don't know if we'll ever go back though. And uh, he also, during that trip, started talking to me about me becoming a coach. And he really explained to me um, what it meant to be a coach. Because one of the things we were doing in the Slim and Six Challenge group was, you know, just um, talking to each other and stuff like that. And I really stepped up my game of like feeling like motivating other people. Because I felt like if I was motivating other people, then I would stay motivated. And Josh just turned to me, he's like, that's what coaching is about. And I had never given Kobe the chance to really explain that to me. So, sorry, Kobe. Um, and then in March, uh, Josh came to me and he's just like, you know, I think you'd really be good at this. I know you're still going to be buying some of the products. At least do it for the discount and you'd really be helping me get to Diamond. And I'm just like, you know what? If this is going to help Josh, the guy that I'm like, madly falling in love with then fine I'll be a coach and so in March I decided to become a Beachbody coach to help him out and then in April Josh moved to Colorado and he helped me get over a bad stomach virus that I'd been fighting for the last two weeks and it just I really started coming back to life and really feeling better than myself so because of Slim and Six and proper nutrition, I learned from insanity. Um, I lost 40 pounds total. I think I've actually lost almost 50 pounds now. Uh, but some of that is due to Power 90 and, and starting T25 and stuff, which I'm really excited about. Everyone has to try T25. Okay, end of plug. Um, but then in June 2013, Josh and I went to Beachbody Summit, which was so much fun. And we really learned what Beachbody is all about as a company. And after that, I was just hooked. Um, since Summit, I have become a Beachbody Challenge winner of $500, and I was featured on the Team Beachbody webpage. I signed up now three amazing coaches whom I love. Uh, I have this secret goal to make my team, my personal team, like all girls, and we're just gonna take over the world and it's gonna be awesome. So um, yeah, three amazing girls right now. I have a couple other people inter interested, so I'm super excited about that. But um, when I hit two coaches, I became Emerald, so I am now Emerald, yay! I also hit Success Club 5 for the first time. Um, and most importantly, uh, my life has never been so amazing and I found the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I think that's like the biggest thing is that not only did Beachbody help me lose the weight and find a new passion in my life that makes waking up so amazing, I found the love of my life. I'm starting to decrease my Lexpro. That's another thing. I'm starting to decrease my Lexpro after being on it for four years. And I'm just so excited. Like, 
just so excited. I'm not as affected by marijuana anymore because I'm not surrounding myself by people that smoke it or do drugs. I'm surrounding myself by the most positive people that I think honestly exist in the world. And so that just in itself, all of that has just affected me to be the best person I can be. And even my dad stopped and was just like, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about you. Like you're, you're doing incredible. So um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about Beachbody. And that's my story. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. And I look forward to hearing all your guys' stories. Bye.